Generic greetings and welcome to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. Today's beverage is... <sighs> Quite uncharacteristically of me, I've gone with a nice sugary beverage and it's a nice cold Pepsi. Very, very tasty. You can't have it warm because that's just heretical. But other uh, generic brown beverages are available, including brown ale, which is also tasty, but not one for this one here. Let's go to design and fight. And what I want to do in this episode is do something quite different to what I usually build. And that's something that's actually useful. Now, normally when I make something, it's a bit weird, it's a bit quirky, or it's just garbage. And I want to try and change that up and make the Every Tank a vehicle that is quite cheap. And I've actually just got already messed up because I went with the... Uh... Oh no, I did go for lunch here. That's fine. Um, I want to try and make something that is is relatively cheap. We're talking 1,500. That's my definition of cheap anyway. Yours may vary. And it's going to have something they'll be able to take out, airships and ground targets, preferably both at the same time, and quite simply make something that is... quite simply make something that I can dump down on the field and not have to worry about precise manoeuvres or very specific um, orders or really have to worry about what the opponent's going to bring. Now, obviously, there will be a couple of downsides. Firstly, it'll be slow as hell because we're going to make it armoured. Secondly, boarding is going to be a problem. Boarding is always an issue when it comes to these things. You can't really make a vehicle that does absolutely everything because it'll be either too expensive or just too garbage. So what we're going to try and do is have something that is fairly well armed and armoured and can generally take a bit of a pound and hand out one back and if it needs to verse something that can fly that's fine, if it needs to verse something on the ground that's okay and everything in between. Boarding, mm, we'll see what we get to when it comes to the points cost. So let's just have a look at our weapons first and we'll be basing it around probably a dorsal turret. Dorsal turret being very very useful. Now obviously you can only have the one but it is a big gun. Now the advantage with this is essentially uh, you can have the one on the top there and it's got a very good arc of fire. And if we want to have, say, flat cannons, we could do that. And that means that we can verse anything above us and also anything forward. The problem, however, is you'll notice we've only got one cannon pointing forward, which is obviously a big issue. So how are we going to avoid that? Well, we could put things like a heavy cannon on the front, but immediately we're already at uh, 600 credits and that's not including anything else so far. So that's a problem. That is a problem. Um... The question is, do I want to have this this much flak on it? I'm not entirely convinced that less than two is a good idea. I think two is probably the way forward. Uh, probably the uh, probably go with maybe some standard cannons. I mean, we underestimate the average cannon. Uh, just one of those, or maybe even just. Two of those is probably the way forward. Three, we're getting onto expensive territory, but it also really depends on what we're going to do in terms of the... Uh, in terms of it, let me actually move these forward just a, a wee bit. Um, in terms of the uh, the propulsion, propulsion large legs obviously makes it too expensive straight away. Medium legs is too small. Large tracks would be uh, far too big for what we're going to do. Tracks far too small. So in reality, we need to have probably two sets of tracks like so. And that'll take us to 737 and probably split up to there. And no more than no more than that, really. That could probably be about it. Okay, so let's just go over to the uh, probably basics and then we'll go for a... Where is it here? We want a... We do want a fire point in, but I don't know where we're going to put that just yet. I probably want... Uh, let's just actually go over to... Uh, aircraft could be... A, cool cool one as well put an aircraft on this thing uh it does make it not terribly expensive i never thought of that actually a biplane very fast exceptionally good at shooting down other small flying units a hazard bear is quite useful as well but that can't really shoot much stuff down triplane effect games targets uh, armor targets obviously bomber you know what? We might go for a biplane. That never really occurred to me. The whole point is if we have flak, we can take out air targets, but we have a biplane. Well, it can do all sorts of things. All right. All right. That's... Is that just different? Am I, am I just going off... Am I going off design already, as in we're trying to make a tank that's useful, not just full of everything? Uh, we'll, we'll stick with what we're doing now. Okay, so... We'll go for structural, we'll go over to the fire door, slap a fire door straight up the top there and connect that up. And obviously these will do the same thing on this side. Um, actually, we don't really want the rest there, that's fine. Now, I was going to fire door this entire section off like so, but that's already got 
expensive written all over it. It's not too bad though, and it means that if we want to go to Command and Crew and Quarters, we can put Quarters in there. That gives us a total 12 air sailors, recommended crew 19. So we do need more, and already we're very underpointed. So we need this either taller, taller, like that, or we need to just get rid of these fire doors. Okay, well, I need fire doors at the front. I've already thought, I've already sort of talked myself into that. We need. Ammo store. Probably just the one. Definitely need a fire point. And we need coal. Well, we could do that. Get rid of those. Put them on there. Pull these down. Like that. We're at a grand. Armour. This is, this is, you might think, oh, it's quite cheap at the moment. Watch what happens when we get the armour on. Steel armour. Oh, yeah, that's made it more expensive. Okay. Very well armed, though. No way to get up to the top. That's a slight issue. Okay. What we'll do. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Move it forward. Now we're going to have to get rid of the flak, actually. Uh, put the flak on the back. Put that there. Okay. So that's... Oh, actually. Better still. There. Yeah. Because then we've got better arc of fire. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And we've also got access to it. Now, if these blow up, they'll take the front all these out with it. So that's an issue. That is an issue. But we are well armoured. Problem with that is that we cannot get anything else on it. Because this is going to determine the height. So maybe we do that. Then you've got this bit at the front where you might as well put another cannon in. That seems to be the way this is swinging. Uh, let's have a quick look. How much do these use ammo-wise? Ammo. Three seconds. Mm, and that's... And how much does that hold? 100. And that is fires every three seconds. Hmm. Four cannons. Every three seconds. That's going to empty that in no... It's just going to be gone in five... Well, yeah, it's... Hang on. 100. Surely that's not firing... Like 20 times a minute? 2, 4, 6, 8. A minute and a bit. Not including the rest of... Okay, so we're going to run out of ammo in a minute. That can't be right. My maths, my maths must be off. Don't really care about the coal store because it ain't going to drive anywhere. It's just going to sit there. Um, although they do use a unit of coal every 25 seconds. That has 50. Okay, that's fine then. That's no problem at all. Ammo need double. We need double what we have. That's risky though because obviously you've got your fire point and stuff. And you can see the way that... Yeah, we need to move that back over. We need to pull that back over. And we need to probably do that. And then we have much easier access to these. Right? That's fine. I'm happy with that. We then need the flak in. Like that. Which we don't need those bits, actually. Mm, I will do, because you can get better access. Um, We could double flak it. We could triple flak it, actually, if we really wanted to. Like that. But then we're already overpointed. If we just... Building allowed here. Put a biplane in. It's not terrible. Hmm. Problem is lack of that, that thing there. Is there a better gun? I'm only putting that in because it can shoot in any direction. But, it's severely limiting what I can do. Yeah, a deck gun is mainly what I'm after, actually. Deck gun. Hmm. Forward facing, and then with a deck gun. 
it means that if anything gets behind us, we'll just have to spin it round. Hmm. What to do? It's piercing damage 70. Cannons are piercing damage 40. Fires every 4 seconds. Yeah, so it's it's not bad. It's actually not bad. It's just limiting. Just a bit limiting. Hmm. Okay. I think like everything, we're best off making summit, and if it doesn't work, we try again. Let's shrink that up a bit. Let's go with the original design, which was flak. However, we are missing repair bay, which, to be quite honest, I don't think we'll need. Um, because one stuff's taken out. Mm, I don't know. Do we re do we need a repair bay? I'll be under commander crew, will it? No. Structural resources. Repair bay. Replacement parts and sturdy sections of wooden pipe. Well, the repair bay is fairly large. And we haven't got cargo doors yet. Well, cargo doors are easy. You just put them on the back. In fact, quite frankly. Um, there. Actually, I think we'll need one more once we finish this off. But hey-ho, we'll see what goes. So there's that. Um, we want... How much crew have we got? Nothing. Recommended crew. Recommended crew 19. And no way to command the thing. So command and crew. We'll go for crew quarters. There's one. If we have... Two. 24 crew. Right. Okay. And we can't give commands to it, but we can if we change, if we put a cockpit in here, then weapons, actually I won't do them, uh, weapons, I want a flat cannon, that's not a flat cannon. It's over pointed. But not by much there, if we do that. 1-6 for that. Needs more supply hatches. Okay. Hmm. Recommended crew 26 and we've got 24. Maybe building the every tank with only 1,500 quid is uh, slightly problematic. Okay, save design. Um, GLV, every tank, version one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep it as every like that, because it's different. Right, so let's try that. So combat, say day, add land ship. It's the every tank version one. One, two, three. That's exactly 500. Okay. So we're going to add a building. Mm, yep, yeah, Cubington. We're going to add an airship. Zeppington Mark II. And we're going to add a land ship. Of... I mean, we're putting... We're really putting the, uh, the pressure on at the moment. Because we're going to put the... I mean, if we put the mini mini assaultington on, we're dead because he's just going to charge forward and take it. I mean, that, that's understand understandable. Um, the scorpionton, where's the mini tankington? There it is. Oh, when in doubt, mini tankington. One of the best designs ever. There you go. Close as near as damn it. Uh, five zero two two five five zero zero seven. So yeah, there's almost nothing in it. However, uh, tactically, probably best to have these further back over. So we have actually no, probably not. Probably not, because they've got flak. 
Uh, we've got flak, so actually you spread them out. It doesn't matter, that's the whole point. We can just put them wherever we want. So, they have two mini tankingtons, this cubington, which has got all sorts all over it, and then a zeppington. This is something that you could realistically face in the campaign mode and whatnot, and it's just a good setup. Like, this is a definitely good... If you're defending, having a very high-level bomber, uh, two mini tanks that are actually quite armoured, and a big box, then that's actually quite a decent thing to have on your side. Assaulting it, a bit of a nightmare, but let's just click start and we'll crack on. So immediately, shots whizzing out. What I'm going to do is command all of these to target uh, the Mini Tankington. Immediately, you can see that the flak is absolutely pounding the Zep because we do have a total of three flak on each of them. So even though it's high level, it's getting absolutely plastered. In fact, as you can see, it's lost both of its... Both of its... Uh, balloons on the top they're gone uh, most of the bombs on the front have already dropped in fact it's not even dropped has it dropped one thing yet i don't know um we've shot against this thing the mini tankington that's now dead we're going to issue another command against the other mini tankington unpause it there one of our every tankingtons has taken it's not every tankington but it's every tank has taken oh my good grief um has taken a huge hit to the front we've lost the we've lost one flat gun we've got one of the uh, swivelly cannons gone. Is that the dorsal gun? I think it's a dorsal. We've got two standard cannons left, and the <laughs> the every tank that's in the back is completely gone because we've blown them up and then it's landed on top of us. So, that's a thing. Uh, let's just now target the Cubington right at the back. So we've now destroyed one mini Tankington there. You can see that's pretty much dead. This one here has lost its gun, so it's completely unarmed. The Zeppington is, well, that's what's left of it, that bit and that bit there. And then finally they have the Cubington left, which is currently taking a bit of a pounding. Now, obviously, it's spraying us with a lot of Gatling guns, a hell of a lot of Gatling guns, but because of our armor, if we go to outside view, you can see we are weathering it quite well. In fact, this one is still, it's still got one weapon left. This one, however, fairly factory fresh. What I'm going to do is move to there as best I can, and we'll see what happens there. Uh, they are taking hits all over the place, not really working out in my favour at the moment, although we have just caused a fire at the, at the back end there. It must have been taco night last night. Um, but we'll put it out by the look of it. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Um, we've managed to take out a bit of... a bit there. As you can see, we're getting absolutely strafed still. We've still got cannon. How are we for ammo? Ammo, we've got 149 of 200. We'll go at the back here. What's that one got? That's been firing since we started. That's got 85 of 200. So actually, the ammo count is about right for for these, I think. Because uh, we're now into the sort of long-range late game here. Where, essentially, they're just going to blatter us. We're just going to blatter them. Now, we can weather these shots um, fairly well. There we are. And the thing is, they've got no real heavy cannons to hit us back. But I don't think that was an unfair test. I think the, the only way I could make it harder... I'm going to have to actually get that guy onto uh, aimed fire because we're now onto 58 rounds. Uh, so we're... we're on, well, we're just off 56. We're coming close to one quarter rounds left. This one got loads of rounds, so I'm just going to put that on rapid fire because, quite frankly, I think the gun is going to fall off before we run out of ammo. Um, yeah, I don't think this is an unfair fight. The only way we could have made it easy... Ooh. Ugh. Double tracks is working out. The only way we could have made it easier is actually harder. It would be to put boarding vessels on their side. And again, that's something that I said I wasn't going to do because, well, that would just be silly. So the question is, what do I need to do to re what do I need to redesign this on? Well, first things first, that do that can at the top there that fell off straight away. It just it got, got completely wrecked on both of them uh, very early on, and I don't think it helped. Quite honestly, yes, it's a bigger cannon, but it doesn't fire as fast. It's a second slower, and also does a bit more damage, and it can spin around. But the problem is that everything that was pointing forward, we just got these cannons. We got we got three cannon pointing forward, four cannon pointing forward. It's also um, completely offset, so I'm gonna have to redesign that. Um, I didn't see that before, so I'll pull everything forward one. Get rid of that. Keep the three flak on the back, and probably have a plane on it. Honestly, I think that would be that would give it a lot more survivability. But let's just see how it goes. Although against that, we, we would die straight away because the planes would just fly over the top. Uh, do we still have commands? We do. I'm going to say ram to there. Nah, it's not going at all. Um, obviously, we haven't got... We haven't got anywhere to repair. But I don't know. What, what would we be able to repair? The bunks? Yeah. I don't think it would really matter. It looks like we're going to win this one. I think they're out of ammo. Yeah, they're completely out of ammo. Look, they're not firing. Either that or they just haven't got the crew to 
reinforce it. Oh, it looks like they do have the crew. There's a lot of barracks in there. See them? Okay. Right. I'm confident that we've won that. Unless that's out of ammo. Oh, it is out of ammo. Um, We could still technically lose. That's now out of ammo. That was an explosion. That thing on the left's out of ammo. This tank is got it's got 109 shots left and it's not getting fired back. So you know what? I'm going to ram it back to there just so it doesn't keep damaging itself. And we're just going to sit there. I've got 106 shots to finish this thing off. Eventually, I'm going to hit something vital or they're going to just lose crew. I'll run out of water actually at this rate. I mean, you can see I'm just chiseling away. I'm going to speed up to max speed actually. Let's see. I'll, see I'll, I'll give it till 80 rounds. And if it's dead by then, fine. If not, you know, we'll make an assessment. Ten shots left. Any one of these could just hit some vital and the whole thing go up. Like a Christmas tree, but no. Okay, there's your 80 rounds. It could probably go either way. It's going to look out. But they held their own. Okay, not bad. Exit combat. Right, launch your editor. Open the design. Same thing, every tank. This is going to be version 2. So, uh, first things first, just get rid of that dorsal turret. Immediately cheaps it out by 100. Don't think it's worth it. Don't think it's worth it at all. Okay, so these are going to go forward. Get rid of those. Ammo, same thing forward. Flak, forward. And that forward, that forward, that forward, that forward, these forward, that forward. And we're actually quite we're short on these, actually. Shot on entry points. Okay. Fine. So, how do I want to put this? Um, aircraft. Biplane. It could just go on the front. It, it could just do that. Entirely that. Actually. It wouldn't be a problem. Problem is, we do not have a good place for the bridge, which I'm going to put there. I will then, on top of that, put... Uh, I'll be under commander crew. A crow's nest. Damn it, you can't, because of the way it works. Um, we could do that. And that. There we go. Get rid of that, put that there. Right, so... Ooh, it's, it's a bit more expensive, though. It's 1,700 now. Um, do we get rid of some flak? Don't think we need all that flak, quite honestly. I think we were doing more than well with the flak that we had. So we'll put these... Like so. Ah, no, the crow's nest does need to be higher. Crow's Nest gives 10% accuracy, so it's worth having, I think. Although it offends me that uh, we don't have the Crow's Nest like that. Now, the disadvantage of doing this, you've probably already thought of it and seen it, is that when that goes, the cockpit, well, when that flak goes, that's going to take him out. Actually, what I could do then, uh, get rid of that. Which does that matter? Yes, we need to have that central bit because then they can have access to the middle. Not that we really need access to the middle. Because ammo is never going to be taken down there. They're going to go that way and that way. We've put the bridge in there. And go that way. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to get rid of those though. Um, and that at the back. And instead I will put... Basic... Um, corridors in. Don't even need to go that way, to be quite honest with you. But hey, there you go. Double flak, plane, cans at the front. 1666. Mm, still not as cheap as I'd like, and I would like... Would like a repair bay at some point. Recommended crew 23, we got 24. So it's actually cheapened it out a bit, born, a bit for us, that's good. Um, can we get... Can we get a repair bay? Not for the cost, and I don't think we need it. Okay. Same armour, everything else. Save design. Version 2. Uh, tank Ington. Sorry, I didn't stick with name convention last time. I do apologise. Save that up. Leave that. Right. Let's try this again. Combat. Uh, we'll have day again. Land ship. Tankington version 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6664. Six, six, okay. So building. Um, not going to have any of these garbage ones, red walls, or out like that. Although, to be fair, the Cubington did 
hold its own. The whole point of the Cubington was you just can't assault the thing because it's just a big block of stone with loads of guns all over it, which, you know, is just useful. <laughs> you will never realise just how useful that thing can be. So we'll have that. We'll have a airship. So obviously, uh, Zeppington. Uh, was that version 2 I loaded? I don't know. Let's go with airship. Uh, version 2. Want two because quite frankly, oh no, it's a bit too expensive. That's fine. Airship, uh, what's a useful airship? The drone ship is just stupid. The Hammer Headington, even stupider. Uh, chop Fighterington, I uh, chop Fighterington might not be a terrible idea. One, two, three. No, two of them, two of them will be fine. Um, airship, we've got Block Gunnington, we've got the Bombardington, which is just insane. Um, KV Tewington said we were missing some stuff out. There's a mini, mini Zeppington. Oh, we could put the Reactington on. Do you want to... Yeah. Do you know how to lose this game? You put one Reactington on. Broken! Um, and Landship, finally. I think the Mini Tankington are always just a good filler. One, and then two, and... Uh, six, 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 four, six, five, four, four. Near as damn it, there we are. And we will probably put these back over like so, because we probably want to um, group them up. Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the problem. Uh, we'll probably lose one of these just because that thing... The Reactington. So we're going to start the fight, pause it immediately, and get all of these to target that. Because if we don't take that out, we will lose a vessel. So immediately, shots out. There you go, whizzing away. We do have our biplanes. One of them's just hit the deck. Uh, probably another one will hit them very quickly. Look how fast the Reactington's going. It's getting... Yeah, it's just charging straight at us, and quite frankly, it's on a lot of fire. It's all on the fire, and it's been destroyed. Now, where is it? Where is its borders, though? I don't know. I don't know, but what I can see, however, is that that's gone. This thing is pretty much about to explode and fall out the sky anyway. It's on It's on a crash class. Oh, yeah, the front's just fallen off, and the back ends. Oh, there it goes, and... <laughs> it just landed right on top of the, of the reacting ton. Oh, my good grief. The reactoring ton has just blown the hell up, and oh, my good grief, it's taken the rest of the vessel with it, though. Um, we've technically not lost this. Um, oh no. Yeah, sorry, it's got no ammo. Okay, so we've lost an every tankington. We've also lost, no, oh, we've lost two every tankingtons, so we're on half, half, uh, half firepower at the moment. However, if you can see, too many tankingtons gone, reactoring tons gone, a reactington, the, the one with the borders that we were worried about, it exploded very quickly. The zeppington blew up completely because obviously with a flak, and we now just have, uh, these two melee ones that are just not doing anything actually so I'm not even going to worry about those so quite frankly we're just going to shoot that up and see what we can get so we still have a total of eight cannons forward which is fine we're going to switch these to probably aimed fire because we're in it for the long haul now this one I'm going to say ram to there because we can this is a good thing I've actually been a, a two-parter and also you can see that because the bridge is down the bottom there we're able to survive a lot longer what the hell? That was the flak going up. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to have... That's why I definitely didn't want to have the uh, bridge around here, because when the flak goes up, it'll just take the thing out next to it. Um, oh my good grief. It looks like the uh, <laughs> the every tankington is going forward. And, oh, damn it. Do you know what happened? We've crushed over the mini tankingtons, but because our bridge was at the bottom there, the only thing to ram it with was the bridge. So we've crushed those, but we lost a bridge. Oh, that's a shame. That is a crying shame. Uh, this one can still go, though. Can it move? It still does have enough go. No. No, no, no. It's actually beached itself there. Look, it's grounded. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Fine. Okay. Anyway. So, how we're we doing over here? Yeah, we're giving it a fair old plaster, and actually, there's two weapons gone. And it's starting to fire again. So, they've only got three weapons. We've half the weapons forward. Uh, they're miniguns, then. Now, obviously, these things here are... This is stone, I believe. Heavy stone, I think I made it out of. But... But... Doesn't seem to matter too much. We're putting big holes in it. Problem is, we're not destroying it. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just a big brick. Uh, these were on 70 ammo of each. 70 ammo each now. I mean, that's a problem, because... 140 shots to take that out. You might think that's a lot of shots, but not really, considering they could win off this. 
So if anything, it's under ammoed. I mean, this is only this is a very small sample set. This is only two fights, and we had too many Tankingtons in the last one, and the Cubington. So the same vessels and a Zeppelin. In fact, the only thing that's added is these two, which have done nothing. So it's not really a fair fight. The the biplanes, as expected, did nothing because they just they just flew and died. Um, I, there still needs to be a command for holding on to the vessels. Because as soon as you start fighting, they fly off. They flew over the flak. Two of them, uh, one of them shut down straight away. It got to here and then went crashed into this bit here. And then they flew around a bit and then died. Um, we need to be able to tell them to wait. Because then our guns will be able to fire, fire, fire. And once we've taken out their flak, then you launch them. Then you send the planes off because then there's nothing that can shoot them down. Uh, actually, I believe the miniguns can, but you know what I mean. If, uh, if we'd waited till now, we'd be able to launch them. They'd be able to take that, that with impunity. But... We've chipped away that nicely. They're, those have been taken out. Well, actually, they haven't been taken out, but they're close to it. We have... Yeah, not enough ammo to win it. They're probably going to win it. Although, as you can see, they've stopped firing against that. They've stopped firing against that because they know that that is no longer a threat. So they're just trying to take out these to win it. Eventually, this is only reinforced wooden armor. Eventually, we're going to hit something vital like that, and then boom, they fall out the sky. That's it. Is that a win? It's not a win because there's still technically that gun there. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Five shots left. We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it, but it was close. It was very close. There's the last shot. Last couple of shots, that's it. See, the only thing we can do is ram them. <laughs> well, let's speed up to max speed, because these are not exactly fast. Nope, nope, it's... it's <laughs> you can't do that. Okay. We don't even have enough uh, power to get over that. Crunch? Nah. Okay, so, we'll uh, we'll pause it there. Yeah, we've technically lost this. We'd have to flee, but we've destroyed everything. I mean, the only reason we didn't win is because of that gun there. That gun was gone. Class is disarmed. We win. But I think that is a very good version. We'll call it, we'll call it version... Well, it's version 2. But uh, still not convinced about the biplane just because of the control. But take the biplane off, get it under probably, one, probably about 1,400 and change. Hmm, yeah, the two flak worked. Two flak worked fine. If you were versing an entire force of airships, then you might have a bit of an issue, but we we're trying to make it middle ground. In terms of getting boarded, I managed to take that out very quickly. A lot of cannon. So, you know what? I don't think that's too, I don't think that's too bad, actually. I don't think it's too bad at all. Either way, that has been a bit more airships conquer the skies. Hmm. I'm uh, up for giving that another try with that tank, because I know when we did the uh, the series and stuff, it was a bit of an issue because we'd have all different types of vehicles and they didn't exactly work. And the objective in the in the conquest mode is always to every episode or try to build something. Um, didn't manage to most of the time. I think it ended up averaged about maybe every other episode because we build it in one, test it, evaluate it, get it to the version two, the proper like fighting version, then use it in the next episode. Um, but the problem with that is that it, when you settle on design, it's good. We end up moving on to something else, and, uh, and uh, when we go for the win, it just you just you can you can tell it gets stripped down. Like most of the time, if we want to just go for the big win, we go for the Reactingtons, the the, board, the fast boarding vessels, the uh, the Zeppingtons for high level bombing, and mini Tankingtons. Like th those three things, or mini Fightingtons actually, basically you fight it with one cannon on it. That that tend to work. It was only about three hundred points. So yeah. Those tend to uh, work quite well. But anyway, I digress. Yeah, I, I thought that was not too bad. Uh, I think we'll come back to that one. We'll try another one. If you have any ideas for designs, changes, etc., then by all means, in the comments below, and uh, hopefully we can implement them in uh, due course. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.